how do we know a speeding camera works? Most of us come across cameras almost every day but may not know how they actually work. There are three types of cameras, mobile, intersection and fixed. They mostly work on the principle of waves and their frequencies. Mobile speed cameras are installed in unmarked cars that transmit a radar beam across the road. When a vehicle is passes through it, the beam changes frequency measuring the vehicle's speed. If the driver is traveling over the speed limit, a photograph of the vehicle is taken. Intersection cameras detect speeding vehicles using two in-road sensors fixed distance apart. They determine the vehicle speed by measuring the time it takes to travel from one sensor to the other. If the vehicle is exceeding the speed limit, the camera is triggered and the photo is taken. Some fixed freeway cameras are installed aboard the flow of traffic like mobile speed cameras. These cameras transmit a radar beam which bounces off the moving vehicle and back into the camera. This provides the highly accurate measure of the vehicle speed. If the speed detected is higher than the speed limit, then the photo is taken. Now let's talk about some average speed cameras and how they work. Average speed cameras, sometimes called point-to-point -point cameras, record a vehicle's average speed between two points along with the stretch of road. This provides a perfect reading of whether drivers are speeding over a sustained distance rather than at a single point. Fines are only issued if the average speed over that entire distance exceeds the legal limit. These types of machines are fitted in the cameras from which they get to know the speed of vehicle. There are two types of integrated cameras, red light violation detection system and speed violation detection system at the traffic crossings. Violation are captured both at day and night time, resulting 24 by 7 surveillance. The captured photo and videos are electronically transmitted to the center of Telepolis. God.